Well, we've been thinking about people that Jesus met, people whose lives were changed completely by him. And today we're going to consider two people that we've met before, Mary and Martha. Do you remember Mary and Martha and Lazarus, their brother, and how Jesus brought Lazarus back to life again? Well, Jesus would often stay at their house on his way to Jerusalem. What a privilege. I wonder what we would think if Jesus was going to come to stay at our house. But when Jesus and his disciples arrive, Mary and Martha have some very different ideas. Did you know that we can have Jesus stay with us as well? Not knocking at our door, but coming into our hearts to stay. Becoming a Christian doesn't just mean trusting the Lord Jesus Christ to save you, but also to change you on the inside. When anyone comes to him, they are a new creation. They can know God's presence in their hearts and in their lives too. Have we asked the Lord Jesus Christ to come into our hearts, to change us and to clean out all that's bad and sinful in them? Well, both Martha and Mary believed in Jesus. They both knew that they'd been forgiven for their sins and they loved him with their whole hearts. Both of them wanted to please him now and were looking forward to having Jesus to stay and to hear him speak. But when Jesus came, Martha decided that she needed to get busy very busy. There were 12 disciples and Jesus to feed and she needed to make sure the place was comfortable and that there was plenty of food, no time to stop, even for Jesus. But Mary wanted just one thing, to sit next to Jesus and hear what he had to say. She didn't care about the food and didn't think anyone else would either. Why would they? Jesus was here. I wonder if we enjoy hearing about Jesus. Do we love to hear what he said to his disciples and to hear how kindly he answered those who hurt and mocked him, to hear how much he loved both children and grown-ups and how he cared deeply for those that everybody else rejected? It's a good thing to work for Jesus like Martha, but it's an even better thing to listen to him speak to us. Well, are we like Martha or Mary? How much time do we spend with Jesus? Have we ever tried to hear him speak to us through the Bible? or try to speak to him in our prayers? Or do we like to be busy, busy, busy people doing anything but thinking about God? What things we're missing out on not spending time thinking about his love? Not realising how he came to die on the cross for sinners? Not realising that if we come to him, we can know his forgiveness and a new life, and that we can know his friendship forever? Well, Martha doesn't agree. There are things to be done and Mary is not helping. She's just sitting there. Martha looks over her shoulder from time to time. Surely Mary will start doing some things around the house now, just like she was helping before Jesus came. But Mary doesn't move at all. She's completely taken up in Jesus' words. Martha knew Jesus as her own friend too. She should have understood Mary's choice. She should have joined in. But she was too busy. What a pity. She even became angry with Mary. Perhaps we get angry sometimes with people who say they're Christians. Why can't they be bothered about other things? They're much more concerned about the Lord Jesus Christ and his people and wanting to do what pleases him. It must be really boring to be a Christian, we say. But inside, we'd rather be there ourselves. But we're just too busy to spend time learning about the Lord Jesus. It all becomes too much for Martha. Lord. Don't you care that I'm doing all the work around here? Tell Mary to get busy and help me. She must have thought that Jesus would understand and that Mary would help again if Jesus told her to. Do we think we have good reasons for not spending time with the Lord Jesus? There are so many other things to do. Spending time with friends, spending time with family, the hobbies that we have, maybe even school and studying. These all seem like good things, and they are, but they're not as good as listening to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but just one thing is needed. Mary has chosen the better thing, something that will not be taken away from her. Well, where will all these other things be at the end of our life? Earthly friends, earthly families, hobbies, study? None of these things will last forever, but God's kingdom and Jesus' friendship will last forever. If we want to take something with us, we need to get heavenly treasures, 
We will need to listen to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the only thing that will last. So, if we do know the Lord Jesus already, then this is a good lesson for us, to spend more time with him, to love him and to show it, not necessarily by doing more things which you think might please him, but by spending more time listening to him. Perhaps you sometimes have the same feeling for your parents or your friends. You don't want to go anywhere or do anything in particular, but you just want to spend time with them. But if you're not one of God's children yet, if you haven't turned your heart and your life over to the Jesus, then this is a very good lesson too. You need to come to the Lord Jesus yourself and listen to him. And what do you think he would say to you if you did? Well, first of all, we would have to learn that we're not the people we should be. Our lives are full of sin and disobedience, unkindness and foolishness, and everything which is unlike the people that God made us to be. Secondly, we'd learn that we cannot make these things better ourselves. We cannot buy forgiveness and we cannot make our hearts changed. But we'd learn also that Jesus has come to buy forgiveness for us, to open his arms so that we can come to him and receive his goodness and righteousness. He even has the power to turn our hearts to him if we feel so cold towards him. But we will also learn from Jesus how much he's loved us. Dying on the cross was a terrible thing. No earthly person could have taken the punishment for all those sins. But Jesus did it with joy. He knew he was saving his people, the people who would believe in him, from their sins. He was looking forward to that day when he would be able to welcome them, pure and holy, into his palace in heaven, never to be separated from him again. Will you be with Jesus on that day? If we spend no time with him on earth, how can we expect to be with him in heaven? But if we come to him now and ask him to forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all our dirtiness inside, then we can know him and we can spend time with him now on earth. And one day we will hear his call to be with him in heaven forever. What more could we ever want from this life?